Hey guys, Melissa from Bricks on the Loose, and welcome to another video. So, I mean, I recorded Minecraft today, and I was gonna post a Minecraft video today, but the audio didn't work. It didn't record the audio, so I was like, no. So I just quit Minecraft, and I'm like, Pfft, not playing Minecraft for the rest of the day, because I'm just mad and fed up, and it was on the nation, so, I mean, I can't really re-record it, because I did what I did, so now I'm just gonna play some Super Mario Strikers, and I mean, this is good, too. This is, this is fun stuff, too, and it's, I mean, it's about time for one of these episodes, huh? Okay, today we're it's Wario versus Peach. We are in the lead, but I mean that can change at any time. So hopefully I remember the controls. Let's hope that. Let me turn my volume up a little bit so I can hear the game. Let's hope I can remember the controls. Okay. Okay. Let's get this party started. Okay. How do I pass? It's this button, right? Yes, I'm right. Okay. Let's score a goal right off the bat and get this game. Oh. Oh no. No, no. Are you kidding me? Thank you, goalie. That would have been a pretty depressing. Oh, start. But can I make it not depressing? Yes, I can. Bam. Right there. I've gotten this game. Getting this game going. So today's topic, as many of you might be wondering, is winter sports. Because, oh, I hope I didn't talk about winter sports last episode. Maybe I did. Maybe I talked about the Olympics. Did I? Well, I hope I didn't, because we're talking about winter sports today. Not necessarily the the Olympics, but hey, the Winter Olympics are starting any day now, so might as well talk about them too, right? So, winter sports. Now, personally, I love winter sports. I live in Canada, so as you can imagine, I do play, uh, yes, I do play ice hockey. Yes, I do make igloos out of the snow in my backyard. Yes. I do go sledding, yes, I go snowboarding, yes, I love winter sports. So, I love winter sports, and those who live in the south, like, I mean, it's great to live in a place where it doesn't freeze in the winter, and you don't have to wear a coat around the house, because it's just so freezing outside. So sure, it's great not to live in a place like that. But, I mean, you're missing out if you live in the south. If you've never been in snow, you're missing out. Like, even if you just spend, like, a week in the snow, I mean, come to my house, we're gonna go sledding together, I'm gonna teach you how to ice skate, I mean, teaching you how to play hockey is probably gonna be pointless, because let's be real, if you don't know how to play hockey, if you haven't played hockey your whole life, you're probably gonna s not be not right, <laughs> to put it nicely, so, yeah, hey, stupid, hey, stupid, okay, body slam him into the wall, because that's how we roll, it's already 3-0, and there's... A minute left of the game still. Sweet. So winter sports, I, for those who don't know, I got a GoPro recently. Now GoPros are probably my favorite thing ever. Like it's probably the best camera ever. Like pff, I don't, I don't, I don't need a Canon Rebel T5i with automatic focusing and a nice lens. Not, not, not. I just need a GoPro. GoPros are totally fascinating. They're amazing. They can get wet. They record awesome video. I got I have the GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition and it is so clear. I mean, it can't get pictures that a $2000 Canon camera can, but I mean, they're good enough. Of course, I'd love the quality of a Canon camera in the size of a GoPro that is waterproof, but I mean, I don't think I can get much happier about the GoPro than I am. So, I mean, if you have the money, if you can, if you're thinking about getting it and you're not sure if it's good enough, Right now, just I want you to walk, pause the, pause the video, walk out to the store, buy the GoPro, and come back, and you can finish watching. So GoPros, I mean, they come with a case. They come with a waterproof case. They come with, uh, they come with uh, mounts that so you can attach them to your helmet. Like just a mount that's sticky. It's just a simple mount, but it lets you attach it to your snowboard or your helmet, stuff like that. Um, totally, totally awesome. No, shut up. Um. I mean, it does cost, we, I got, I'm just throwing over my words here. So, I got my GoPro on Boxing Day, or, good goal, good goal. I got it on Boxing Day, yeah, that's the day after Christmas in Canada where everything goes on sale. The GoPro's normally 400, I got it for three, no, it's normally 450 in Canada, but I got it for 300 in Canada. No, stop storing ghosts! So I got 150 bucks off. Plus the, uh, 
plus the SD card that I got was only like 35 on sale for 15 so I did get it for very cheap and I would never have spent the $450 because that is just too much money I don't I'm a student I'm still in high school I have to pay for all this video game technology that I'm recording with I don't I don't have the money for it but I mean my, me and my family we paid for it together so it's worth it to get it for us. So we just all use it. My siblings bought it, so they, they're going to take it in the pool when we go to Florida and stuff like that. So it's awesome. Somehow we went from talking about winter sports to GoPros. Maybe because they're the same thing. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, so I suggest you get a GoPro. That's my rant. But, I mean, GoPros for me make winter sports amazing because I love video and I love sports. And if you can combine both things at once, man... You just give me a great time. I l we went sledding. It was negative 20 outside Celsius. That's like negative 30 Fahrenheit. No. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. But it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty cold. Um, it was, and plus, like, you go tobogganing, and there's, like, powder flying everywhere. So your whole face is, like, covered in snow. So you're outside, negative 20. There's snow up your coat because you wiped out, and it went up your coat. And then there's snow covering your face. You can't see out of one of your glasses on your face because it's frozen over because it's so cold outside. And you're just having a blast. You don't even feel cold because your body's generating so much heat. Time to climb up the hill. It's just amazing. So I beg you, if you're going to Canada, I want you to message me and I want you to be hey like hey Moonmel, hey Moonmel, hey Bricks on the Loose. Come in, come come into Toronto, Toronto, Canada. And I need somewhere to. S I'm not. You're not invited to my house. But I'm, you're like, hey, you want to meet at like a sledding hill, and we can go sledding, and you can teach me all the fascinating things about winter sports. I'll respond, and I'll probably say, go away, creepo. But I mean, if I like you, maybe I'll, I'll go sledding with you. Oh, epic dive by the goalie. I do record this voiceover while I'm playing, by the way. That's how multitaskable I am. This, this, see, like, look at that. That should not have gone in. Hey. Hey. So, we have the winter sports out there. I'm kind of, like, snowboarding is awesome, but we've were, I've talked about snowboarding enough on my channel. Skiing and never been. Bob's, there's, like, all sorts of crazy winter sports, like bobsledding and speed skating. Speed skating, I've never been, like, particularly speed skating, but I've been skating and I've tried to go fast, and that stuff hurts you, like, so bad. Uh, what are the winter sports are there? There's hockey. I heard that be that they stopped women's hockey in the Olympics because Canada... I, I heard this. I'm pretty sure it's true because I heard it from a reliable source, not my 10-year-old friend, but I heard it from a reliable source that they're stopping the Can the women's hockey because Canada and the U.S. are just so good at hockey they beat the other teams by so much, it's not even worth it. I don't even... I, that's what I heard. That would suck to be like a, a women's national team player, but... That's what I heard. I mean, maybe maybe they're just going to do just Canada versus U.S. kind of teams, but that kind of leaves out, like, Russia and those who are good at hockey. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. You guys should all go Google it right now, as I'm going to Google it right after this. So, what other winter sports are there? I decided we should probably stop talking about GoPros and talk about... Talk about winter sports. So the Olympics is starting in like five days ish. We don't have TV. I don't have a way to. We have a okay, We have a TV. We're not. We don't live in a hole. We have a TV, but we don't have cable because my parents are like, we got Netflix kids. I can. We can watch shows on like CTV. We can watch. We can watch Avengers. The, a, agents, not Avengers. A, agents of Shield on the t on CTVnews.ca. So we don't need no cable TV, and it just costs extra money. So I partly believe, I partly agree with him, though I would do wish he had TV for days like this, when the World Cup and Olympics are on my to-watch list. Okay, why did you pass that into Wario's back? Oh. Me! <laughs> See... Wario always shoots with his right foot, even if it's coming to him and like... It goes through his right foot whenever he receives a pass. It's really weird. Really weird. Give it to me. Give it to me. Bam. That was with his left foot, I think. Yeah. Oops. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Seven to two. I think we got this game in the bag, people. Still three minutes left. Oh. That was a nice. That's good job. Good job, Toad. 
I'm proud of you. You are getting better, but still not good enough. Okay. So yeah, I think for the next for the next cup, I think we're ready to bring the level up a notch. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue the series. I don't get too many views on the series, though. I, st I do enjoy it, so, I mean, I'm not going to let the views stop me from making this, right? That, that, that's how YouTube rules. I'm not going to let you guys decide what, what I'm going to do. So maybe I will, but... <laughs> I love it, so I'm probably going to do at least one more cup before I end the series. I mean... Unless I get start getting zero views and, like, ten dislikes. Or ten views and ten dislikes, I'm not going to stop yet. Not yet. You ain't, you ain't seen the last of me yet. Because this game, like, I love this game, but it's not something I necessarily want to play on my own, if you know what I mean. Like, I want to make YouTube videos of it, because you can talk during it, you can do cool games, whatever, but it's not something like, um, oh, you just, I just want to sit down for 20 minutes and play it, because it can be a boring-ish game. Oh, the love almost worked. So yeah, that's my story. Oh, that must have hurt. I'm playing this now to get ready for my... Yeah, my... For, for, I have soccer practice in it. And I stopped recording. And, no, I mean, and I, I was recording. I was, like, all set for today's video. But then it stopped working, and I was like, no. Whoa, whoa. Wow. Wow me. Nine goals. Dude, can, we, can we break ten? Can we break 20 before this ga before this game is over? I think so. Probably yes. See, they don't even attack. That's the problem with this level. In, in the next level, they attack too much, and it's too hard. So I don't even know what level to play on. But ne next cup, we're going to play on the next level, because this is a bit too easy. Not necessarily breathtaking and like, who's going to win? Oh, wait, that's me, because it's only on professional, not master, or whatever the next level is. Back to winter sports, as I was saying. Why is my recording only been 12 minutes? As I, as I was... Oh. Oh no. Wario almost scored on his own net. Thank you to the rules of the game you can, where you cannot score on your own net. I did not score on my own net. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, you're not going to score. Okay, how about... No, that's too. I was just gonna say, how about we make it so they don't score any more of this game instead of trying to get more goals? We can just end with ten and make sure they don't get any more. Let's try to do that. Although, yeah, I think. Okay, I want to test something. Oh, they they do tackle me. Squeeze them, squeeze them into those sideboards. <laughs> Pass. Nope, I said pass. Do not miss the pass. Thank you, goal. Hey. No tackling. Mwah. Oh. Whaaa! He's like elbowed me in the chest. He's like, no. Nah, no. Nah. This is my ball. Not your ball. 29 seconds. I just want to see what happens if I hold this. Oh, he, he throw. I didn't throw it there. So he throws the ball if you hold it on too long, which is a great feature. Yeah. Please don't score. I, I, I want this to be, I want this to be a 10 to 3 game, not a 10 to 4 game. Do you understand me? Can I score? Oh, no, I don't want to score. I don't want to score. I want it to be 10 free game. Oops. Pass, 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 pass. I'm a jerk. <laughs> what happened there? Why, how did he kick it backwards? Okay, thanks so much for watching, everybody. We won 10-3. to Wario defeated Peach at the Blank Stadium. I don't know what stadium it is. If you like this kind of thing, please leave a thumbs up so I know you'll like it. These are the stats if you would like to see them. The match summary, I mean. Um, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think I already said that. Don't forget to subscribe and check back later for the next game, which will be... That's what the next game is? What's the next game? Next game is going to be... Wow, Luigi, which I was actually hoping. So he's a top team, so he might be a little bit harder than Peach, who is now in last place because she stinks at this game. So in round four, Wow, Luigi for Wario. Don't forget to subscribe and check back later for that game. See you guys later and have an awesome day. Bye! I talk really fast.